The abortionists who are just aggressive and who will not let up, they, I, I think they're deceiving us when they say, well, we really want to make abortion safe, legal, and rare, to use Bill Clinton's mantra. They really don't. For them, abortion is not only a right, it's sometimes virtuous and sometimes uh, something they want to promote and that they think is not just a regrettable choice, but actually a good choice. And we wanted to unmask them. So when the Chiaroscuro uh, organization came to a group of religious uh, leaders from different ethnic backgrounds, even people with, of no religion at all, and said, this is chilling. We need to call the bluff and say, we thought you wanted to make abortion rare. It obviously isn't in New York. Uh, we, we want you to help us here. Of course, they chilled out they, they, because they don't want to make it rare. It's worse. You know, the, the, the statistics are more chilling because among African-American women, it's 60 percent. And among Hispanic women, it's 48 percent. So there's a, there's a drive there to the poor. Uh, and I, uh, you, you know, if, if you look at the roots of Planned Parenthood and all, this doesn't surprise you. They were really into this, into this genetic manipulation and, and almost to some type of, of cleansing uh, that, that they thought abortion could be a, a good way to rid the earth of undesirable poor people. So we need to unmask that because that's still there. Now, what, what we'll show you, I mean, what, what we'll show you would be two things. If they were sincere in wanting to make abortion rare, they would not have minded that very uh, compelling uh, billboard that was put up in Union Square that, that simply said the most dangerous place for a, an African-American uh, baby to be these days is in the womb of his or her mother. That is chilling. Yes, it could be unsettling, but it was the raw truth. They fought that like tooth and nail and even harassed the people in the building until it was down. And secondly, our city council then began to harass and intrude into the, into the beautiful services provided by our crisis pregnancy center. If they were really sincere in saying we want to make abortion rare, they would have said, "Let those, we'll leave those two alone, but they won't. The billboard definitely opened up dialogue across the country and blessedly uh, the African American leaders and the National Black Pro-Life Coalition are very able to define, discuss, and to uh, break down some of the barriers and some of the questions. Because statistically true, the uh, African American and the Latino communities are targeted by genocide, and the mothers and the babies are definitely the victims. There's a very wonderful and brave man named Chris Slattery, who has several uh, pregnancy care centers in the New York area, and uh, the National Black Pro-Life Coalition joined Mr. Slattery uh, to protest legislation that was going to be designed to help to shut those clinics down, saying uh, that the pregnancy care centers are deceptive and they wanted them to put up signs saying that they do not give abortions. And so our response was, of course we don't give abortions. We help women and we help babies. So why don't the abortion clinics put up signs saying we kill babies and often hurt mothers and that we are unregulated and our clinics are not up to good standards? Why don't they put up those signs? And so knowing that abortion began in New York legally, and uh, they were the first ones to jump on the uh, occurrence to begin to offer legal abortion in the country. And they have the highest numbers of abortions uh, targeting and jeopardizing the lives of uh, black mothers and killing the black babies and certainly the Latinos as well. And so you, New York right now has the leading statistics of the high numbers of abortion, and that must stop.